Major breakthrough for the medical world. It appears doctors have a solution for children born with the so-called bubble boy disease. Local 10 medical specialist Christy Kruger has details in today's HealthCast. Well, the bubble boy syndrome became a part of pop culture, you may remember, after John Travolta played a boy with the same diagnosis in the 1976 movie, The Boy in the Plastic Bubble. Now, while kids didn't actually live in hermetically sealed rooms, it was critical to keep patients as best protected as possible from germs and pathogens because they basically have no functioning immune system at all. These babies are prone to severe infections, opportunistic infections, uh, if they are not treated properly uh, on time or early on. Current treatment requires children like two-year-old Jason Golden to undergo a bone marrow transplant and a lifetime of immune-boosting maintenance with antibiotics and other medications. But now, a new experimental gene therapy treatment developed at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital in Memphis is offering another cool option. Researchers actually harvest the stem cells of children like JCN and insert those cells with healthy genes. Those cells are then infused back into the children where they repopulate and actually boost the immune system. Three to four months post the infusion, uh, not only was he able to uh, go home and, and uh, you know, uh, start to live a relatively normal life, but we, could t we were able to take him off all complete isolation, and all prophylactic medications. JCN is one of eight children who were treated with this experimental therapy. It's been about one and a half to two years for these kids since they were treated, and all of them are doing really well. Great news there. With your HealthCast today, I'm Christy Krueger.